Question 1. What is NLP? Answer. Natural Language Processing or NLP is an automated way to understand or analyze the natural languages and extract required information from such data by applying machine learning algorithms. Question 2. List some components of NLP. Answer. Below are the few major components of NLP. Entity Extraction. It involves segmenting a sentence to identify and extract entities, such as a person, real or fictional, organization geographies, events, etc. Syntactic analysis. It refers to the proper ordering of words. Pragmatic analysis. Pragmatic analysis is part of the process of extracting information from text. Question 3. List some areas of NLP. Answer. Natural language processing can be used for semantic analysis, automatic summarization, Text classification. Question answering some real life example of NLP is iOS Siri, the Google Assistant, Amazon Echo. Question 4. Define the NLP terminology. Answer. NLP terminology is based on the following factors weights and vectors, TFIDF, length TFIDF, doc, word vectors, Google word vectors, text structure, part of speech tagging, head of sentence, named entities, sentiment analysis, sentiment dictionary, sentiment entities, sentiment features, text classification, supervised learning, train set, Dave equals validation set, test set, text features, LDA, machine reading, entity extraction, entity linking, Wikipedia, Fred, Lib, Pikes. Question 5. What is the significance of TFIDF? Answer. TFIDF or TFIDF stands for Term Frequency Inverse Document Frequency. In information retrieval TFIDF is, is a numerical statistic that is intended to reflect how important a word is to a document in a collection or in the collection of a set. Question 6. What is part of speech? Pause. Tagging. Answer. According to the Stanford Natural Language Processing Group, a part of speech tagger, pause tagger, is a piece of software that reads text in some language and assigns parts of speech to each word and other token, such as noun, verb, adjective, etc. Pause taggers use an algorithm to label terms in text bodies. These taggers make more complex categories than those defined as basic pause, with tags such as noun plural or even more complex labels. Part of speech categorization is taught to school age children children in English grammar, where children perform basic pause tagging as part of their education. Question 7. What is pragmatic analysis in NLP? Answer. Pragmatic analysis. It deals with outside word knowledge, which means knowledge that is external to the documents and or queries. Pragmatics analysis that focuses on what was described as interpreted by what it actually meant, deriving the various aspects of language that require real-world knowledge. Question 8. Explain dependency parsing in NLP. Answer. Dependency parsing is also known as syntactic parsing. It is the task of recognizing a sentence and assigning a syntactic structure to it. The most widely used syntactic structure is the parse tree which can be generated using some parsing algorithms. These parse trees are useful in various applications like grammar checking or more importantly it plays a critical role in the semantic analysis stage. Question 9. What are the different categories you can categorize the sequence learning process? Answer. Sequence prediction. Sequence generation. Sequence recognition. Sequential decision. Question 10. What is the general principle of an ensemble method and what is bagging and boosting an ensemble method? Answer. The general principle of an ensemble method is to combine the predictions of several models built with a given learning algorithm in order to improve robustness over a single model. Bagging is a method in ensemble for improving unstable estimation or classification schemes, while boosting method are used sequentially to reduce the bias of the combined model. Boosting and bagging both can reduce errors by reducing the variance term. 